Hi guys. Welcome back to Typing Mind Channel. Today, I'm showing you three powerful ways to train AI agents with your own data. We all know LMS currently are impressive. For example, Claude 3.7 Sonnet with its massive 200k token context window and incredible reasoning abilities. But they all have limitations. They don't know your company's data, your personal projects, your specific domain expertise, or what you want them to behave or answer. That's where these AI agents with training methods come in. I do all these approaches on Typing Mind, a personal AI workspace to use any LLMs. You can visit typingmind.com for more info. So let's get into it. The first method is called training files. This direct approach involves uploading documents that are injected straight into the AI model system prompt. Let me show you how it works. I'll create a new AI agent named Typing Mind API Expert, then generate description and instruction. I'll assign it with Claude 3.7 Sonnet, the smartest model I use daily. Here you can see the knowledge base section at the training files. I will upload our API documentation as a PDF. So the way it works is Typing Mind will process this document and make it available within Claude's immediate context. Specifically, the document will be injected at the beginning of the instruction system of the AI model. This approach will help you save a lot of costs because the catching feature will store the document for follow-up questions with the Claude models. You can replace them with the chat GPT models too. Now I will ask it any way I can use Typing Mind AI agent via API. You can see here, Claude immediately answers with the exact specifications from my doc uploaded to it. It said that I can use the Typing Mind API to access AI agents. And here are the steps I must do to do that. Endpoint to list AI characters. It then guides me to send requests to slash V1 chat completions with example body. That's cool. So you might ask, what are the pros and cons of this training files upload method? About the advantages. First, get highly relevant AI responses as the system reads your full context, leading to more accurate answers aligned with your data. Second, immediate access to information with zero retrieval latency. Third, easy to set up. Just one click to upload your training documents. And how about the disadvantages? First, not suitable for very large document collections because it is limited by LLM context window in this case. Claude has only 200k tokens limit. Second, consumes more tokens. Inserting training files directly into the system instruction increases the number of tokens used in each interaction, which leads to higher costs and faster token limits. Third, restricted file types. Training files often need to stay to specific formats so the system can easily extract text, for example, TXT, PDF, XLSX for larger document collections and auto-refresh the sources. Knowledge bases comb in. This method leverages Retrieval Augmented Generation RAG to dynamically fetch only the relevant parts of your documents, then send it to the AI you're using to chat with. Let me demonstrate how I use Knowledge Base to train my AI agents. I've uploaded five product wikis with hundreds of pages that would exceed Claude's context window. Just a quick note, currently, Typing Mind's knowledge base system is in beta testing. The individual version only supports file uploads, but if you're using the Teams version, you can connect many sources like Notion, Google Drive, or Web Scraper. All right, back to the knowledge base on Typing Mind individual version. After finishing upload the documents, navigate to the AI Agents tab. I've created an AI agent here named Typing Mind FAQ Bot. In the knowledge section, click at the knowledge base item, allow the AI to access all data in knowledge base, or you can create tags to manage which data AI can access. In this case, I select all data allowed. And another very important step is make sure you turn on the search knowledge base plugin at the plugin section here. All right, let's have a chat with the AI agent. I ask it, can I use the similar feature like projects of Claude Anthropic on Typing Mind? At the top of the chat, you can see dynamic context applied indicator, which is using knowledge base plugin now. It also shows me the sources of documents have been retrieved data from which are two files here, Typing Mind Product Manual and Typing Mind Intro. Here's its answer. It confirmed that I can use the similar feature like Projects of Claude on Typing Mind under Name Project Features or Project Folders. Also show me a guide on how to create the project and setting up the project here. Every information is correct. Very impressive. So what are the benefits and drawbacks of the knowledge base method? Let me break it down for you. For the advantages, first, it scales to massive document collections. Unlike training files, a knowledge base allows for the inclusion of large documents or datasets that exceed the model's context window. You're not limited anymore. Second, you can connect data from multiple sources such as Google Docs, Notion, Google Drive, or even scraped data from websites. 
Third, you save more cost. By retrieving only the necessary data for a query, it reduces token consumption, thus saving your money. Who doesn't want that, right? But there are some downsides too. The main one is limited context understanding. It restricts the AI model's ability to see the full context picture since it checks keywords within your prompts, finds relevant chunks, and provides answers rather than processing all data at once. And you'll also experience slightly higher latency due to the retrieval process. It's not huge, but you might wait for some seconds while it searches through your knowledge base. All right, guys. Last but not least, the final method called dynamic context. This method is the real-time data injection through API integration suitable for use cases like accessing your database to do the data analysis for you. For example, I want the AI to access my sales database to retrieve the latest stats of sales every hour. So here, I've created a local API endpoint to access my database. When called, it will return order data statistics with the response look like this. I've also created an AI agent named Sales Analyst here in the AI agents. In the Knowledge section, click at the Dynamic Context item. I name it Sales Orders. There are types of sources you can choose. In this case, I pick red from HTTP endpoint. Enter my local endpoint here. Here is the cache option. I want it to refresh every hour. So I will choose No Refresh. Use until cache expires and expire time is one hour. You can also choose other options like refresh per chat or per message. They're more intensive refresh. Additionally, because it's a local endpoint, I don't need authentication. But if you're using the production endpoint, you can add request headers with your authorization token here. All right, let's test the endpoint. Perfect. Before chatting with it, I want to enable some plugins for the data analysis, like interactive canvas, render chart. Let's save the changes and test the AI agent. I ask it to give me the sales data in February 2025. Here is the dynamic context applied indicator. And here is the cache sales data from my local database. Here we are. The AI agent now accessing my database and gives me a visualization about the data, some insights and business insights as well. How cool it is to have a data analyst reporting to you anytime, right? So let me recap these three powerful methods. Training files for direct context injection of documents. Knowledge base for scalable retrieval from large document collections. Dynamic context for real-time data integration. You can totally train your AI agents with all three methods simultaneously if you need them. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more practical AI tutorials. Drop your questions in the comments and let me know what specific challenges you're trying to solve with AI.